We're going to move to um, item 16, uh, which was being proposed by the absent councillor Josephine Bartley. In her absence, it will be handled by Paul Wilson. Uh, hopefully, this is not overly controversial and we might be able to get home before dawn. I'm happy to move this and someone seconds to take it without debate. Please address us. Thank you, Paul Thank Wilson. Thank you, Your Honour. Thank you, Your Worship. It was a motion we did it without debate. We just moved to a second. Hey? I just want to let Paul just say a couple of things about this, and then we will do that. Uh, so, uh, yes, this recommendation is coming from the Regulatory and Safety Committee. Um, in short, the, uh, the committee has uh, completed a comprehensive review of the bylaw, uh, which recommends that the governing body allow it to expire. And the main reasons for that is that, it's, uh, that our public health goals have been achieved through compliance with uh, national standards for indoor domestic fires and the declining use of fireplaces for home heating. And secondly, because the uh, Auckland Entry Plan and education has proven to be a more effective tool uh, to address public nuisance from smoke odour and, um, and ash. So the committee basically concludes that allowing the bylaw to expire will uh, streamline uh, the council's regulatory uh, process, at least cost the council, um, with no changes to how council will respond to public complaints about smoky fires. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Happy to answer any questions. Councillor Simpson has one. One question. If you currently have an indoor fire, um, does, there's no change, correct? You're allowed to keep your indoor fire? Correct. Okay, well, we might. Uh, Councillor Darby, there's a bonfire of, of, uh, of laws here, a wonderful thing to attend. I just want to smoke you out. Um, Paul, so, Paul, what, what, so how do we respond now? Look, because on the North Shore, say places like Devonport, North Coat, Older Villas, um, you know, they've got chimney fires and they've still got open fires, and then in the winter, no wind. Um, that's when we get the complaints in those areas. So my, some of my constituents, every winter, I, I think both Richard and I get complaints in this area. So in the future, what happens? Uh, we, we're relying on unitary, oh, plan, oh. unitary plan provisions <laughs> to address that rather than the bylaw provisions. But we still have instruments that actually um, you know, give us the, the, the power to intervene. We're not, we're not walking away by any means. No, the, the level of service to the public doesn't change at all. Um, the, the unitary plan is the preferred method uh, to address the complaints. It has been for uh, a few years now, and that won't change. OK, I'm going to bravely put this motion. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. Contrary. Well, Paul Wilson, you can go home with an exemplary record of bringing something here that got instantly approved. Well done, young fellow.